I'm John Henneberger, and I'm an advocate for fair and affordable housing in Texas, working for the Texas Low Income Housing Information Service. My colleagues and I work with neighborhood leaders on the chronic shortage of affordable housing and on the problems that result from persistent neighborhood segregation. In 2008, Texas was hit back to back by Hurricanes Ike and Dolly, and the hurricane impacted some of the poorest neighborhoods in Texas. People needed a voice in disaster recovery. People needed an ability to speak up for their communities and see that the way that the $3 billion of disaster recovery funds that the state of Texas received actually went to make their homes and their neighborhoods better. So we went to the state and we went to HUD and we hammered out an agreement, a process, for how the disaster funds would be used. It in it guaranteed low-income communities a voice, a seat at the table in the process for the allocation of the funds. It became quickly clear to us that one of the central problems with disaster recovery was the slowness of the process. We said, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a faster way to get people back in their homes. And the homes need to reinforce the fabric of the neighborhood. They need to not be the type of houses where you drive down the street and you go, oh, there's a government house. Oh, there's a house that the government rebuilt for somebody. So we worked with the Texas Society of Architects to create the largest residential design competition in the state of Texas to design a house for low-income families that could be built in six weeks instead of six years, which is how long it was taking otherwise. When you look at a map of where environmental hazards are, where Superfund sites are, in, at least in Texas, they're largely clustered within communities of color and low-income communities of color. It's the same places that suffer from a fundamental lack of affordable housing, that suffer from uh, problems of uh, a disinvestment in public infrastructure. One of the reasons these problems exist is because government itself often doesn't know what to do to fix them. But the people closest to the problem are usually the ones who have the best idea about how to go about bringing change. So our role is basically as their staff. It's our role to do the research for them, to put these neighborhood problems in a context of the whole city, the whole state, the whole nation. The one thing we can do is we can take these as lessons and we can apply the knowledge of those things and do better. And that's what the Grow Home Project is really all about. When I first got the call from MacArthur, I was walking down the street uh, with my colleague, and I looked for the nearest bench and sat down and just sat pretty much stunned for a few minutes. You know, you do your work every day, you go through it step by step, and it doesn't really hit you until something like this comes along, just how important that work really is. The things I know we're going to do are we're going to do more and we're going to do better.